house is about to get really messy, but I'm feeling really fed up. And on this side, so this all needs resanding. Have you noticed actually, since we've moved into this house, it really has been one thing after another, hasn't it? So let's tidy this place up together. We don't do Valentine's, but he just said it is Valentine's. Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. Um, house is about to get really messy. Um, I don't really even know how to start this vlog, but I'm feeling really fed up. Uh, we've got the painters and decorators in today um, to try and rectify all the issues to do with the painting and decorating from the house when we moved in. So welcome to my channel if you're new. We moved into a new build 12 weeks ago and there were a lot of problems. We still love the house, we're still really happy here, but the problems are slowly being rectified. And this is the one we've been dreading the most. The painters and decorators are coming in. Um, I'll show you around to show you um, the finish of things and why we're wanting things redone. But I'm just dreading it because we're gonna end up with a really dusty house. It's very hard to have your whole house redone when you're living in it. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it goes this week. So I thought I would share it with you. Do the sorting out before, cleaning up afterwards, and um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Anyway, I'll give you a little look around. So all of the winter sills need, I don't know if you can see that, it's all like rippled there. It all needs sanding down. I've got this little bit on the end. It looks like tape's been put on there and painted over. Every single windowsill in the house is like this, unfortunately, and we just know if it's left for years, it's going to end up cracking and we'll be the ones dealing with it. The problem we've got, I don't mind that being done, the problem is they will only use their gloss. And we're in here 12 weeks and the windowsills are still tacky. I put a plant pot from a lid all the other day. It's got little pads on the base, so it's not like scratchy. But I've taken that up to remove it for the painters today and that's marked as well. And everything you're taking off, you can hear that sticky sound and that's 12 weeks on. So we know with getting it all glossed, it's going to be a nightmare in here with all the hoovering and the dust of just living here. I think the woodwork's going to end up looking worse than it already is. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. But they won't change the paint, we've asked. Even the site manager said they changed the paint a while ago and he doesn't think it's the greatest paint to use it was better what they had before i'm gonna ask for upstairs to be done the whole of the banister and stairs needs redoing everything is very rough to touch apparently they didn't do the last coat um but there's i don't think you can possibly pick it up loads of dripped paint as well where it's dried dripped um loads of marks and things and um just the wood is very rough very sharp underneath where it wasn't finished properly and um, like you can see a very poor paint job and you can just see down here where the banister's just like this everywhere where it hasn't been finished properly and on this side so this all needs resanding to taking everything off the windowsills but you can see oh i've got a real sunny spot you can see that is the perfect example there of like the tape on the sides but then we've also got lots of marks on the walls which they're coming to rectify as well the family bathroom is particularly bad this windowsill is going to need completely redoing uh, and under, underneath we've got lots of holes and it's really rough there. I'm not sure if they're doing all this kind of thing today as well. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. This one needs redoing because we had the radiator replaced because it was all scratched and covered in paint. So now this wall is all damaged. I'm putting everything in Louis's room for now. But um, Aid's wondering about just mainly getting the front of the windowsill done and not getting the top but none of the skirting boards are finished either they're all really rough as if they wasn't sanded down properly and I think we might just ask for them to leave it I think it's going to be more hassle than it's worth having them sanded and glossed 
and then just having my hair stick on them and dust and goodness knows what. And the walls are being done as well. This was actually from when we had the removals in actually, all these marks on the walls. And to be honest, the develop housing development were great. They said, any marks from moving in, we'll sort out for you. So we can't complain. They are coming to fix it. It's just a pain when we're working today as well, trying to sort everything out. And we're having a lot of workmen come in to sort things. And it just takes a big chunk out of your work day. Day two of having painters and decorators in. Yesterday was upstairs and today is downstairs. We've had all the banister done and he's been doing like all over the doors was missed. So he's been doing all those and touching up all the other bits and pieces. So the painting man's now gone. So the whole house should be redone. We did have some good news yesterday. Apparently the cupboard doors are in and they're due to be fitted today or at least someone's coming around today. We've been waiting nearly 13 weeks now so we're very excited about that. Not quite sure how well they're going to be fitted, if we're going to need somebody just to change the pipe work at the back because the dishwasher sticks out quite far. So somebody's due to be knocking on the door later to come and do that. Let's go around and have a look. That's an improvement and he didn't do the tops today so we're happy about that. I also asked for all this to be redone. All oh, this is all a bit messy on here. I just realised that. And the quartz. I guess it's on the ceiling isn't it? But all that wasn't done properly before. I need to have a good clean through here later because we've got chipped bits of, um, you know, like dry, not stuck on the floor but just bits and pieces and we need to, a lot of the door handles have got paint on. Did he do? I'm taking it. He did in the lounge as well. Let's have a little look. It smells of clean paint in here. So these have all been done. I love my new plant pot I bought last week. Really, really pleased with that. I just need a plant to go in it. I still can't believe as well that was £4.99 from um, HomeSense. And in other news, um... I've got an emergency dentist appointment yes, uh, tomorrow. I broke a tooth on Sunday whilst eating. I had, had some old sourdough, which I turned into breadcrumbs, which I coated chicken breasts in and baked them. So in effect, it's toasted sourdough and I broke a tooth. A half of a molar's come off. So I've got a dentist appointment tomorrow, which I am absolutely dreading noticed actually since we've moved into this house it really has been one thing after another hasn't it Not that our life already. yeah I guess it was I guess that's probably everyone's life isn't it just one thing after another um in other news as well I think we've got I think we've sorted the mouse problem it was not easy I think this mouse didn't have a he wasn't fussed about chocolate was he everyone said they love chocolate they've got a sweet tooth Did... took a couple of bits but not much no I think that's done and I was out in the garage and I've kind of had a bit of a tidy up and mm. things like that so just fingers crossed. We were seeing one all the time on the video, the camera in there and we haven't seen any for a while now have we? No there's been nothing going to none of, uh, well anywhere really so either he escaped. But the, I have to say those mouse motels, the friendly well, way we didn't catch one. It was interesting having the cameras because you could see them sniff around them. They both, took the food. Both, no, they didn't because you oh, can't take the food. Ah. Because there's just a section at the end where it's got holes in it. So we put a bit of peanut butter in yeah. and some nuts, that, which is what the instructions said. And you had the chocolate said, as well, didn't not you? Not in that one. Okay. But you could see them sniff around it. See in the camera, they sniffed both, well, one end. They didn't go into it because the moment they went into it, they'd obviously be. Okay. I thought they managed to cheat it, but we had four of them out, as in four of the little mm -hmm. mouse catchers, not one. And how long have they been out now? Weeks? Yeah, weeks. Weeks. No luck. Um, so, yeah. So much for those. We're going to leave them out there anyway, though, just yeah. in case there's any future mice. But yeah, we haven't seen any for a while. I think we got quite lucky, really. I think we managed to catch it before... 
And I think the situation got the, too bad. The great thing is as well keeping them there because of where we're situated. And we've got fields mm. sort of all around us. We've been told that it can be you can get it. I think from some comments, yeah, from people have said. So I think having them out anyway, so they're going to find somewhere warm. Yeah, and all it takes is to actually leave the garage door open as well, um, and then find a way in. You're, you're never going to not stop it. So no. um, at least this way, if we do see them there, we can yeah deal with it. Hopefully that's one problem down. Anyway, I am dreading getting my tooth done tomorrow. I hate being in the dentist chair and I hate the cost. So, um, we'll see what happens. Oh, and it's pancake day today, so we're gonna have pancakes tonight. Oh, the kitchen man's here. Fingers crossed. Lisa. Yeah. I need to ask, which way do you want the door to go? Oh, which way do you want the door to go? Um, he's here anyway, so we should have some kitchen. Problem. I might let Aids in on a meeting at the moment. He might explain it. We finally got the doors on. I'll show you in a moment. I'm really excited, but everywhere's a mess at the moment. So I'm going to have a bit of a cleaning afternoon. I've just finished work early, and um, I need to get this place cleaned up a little bit. And it's pancake days. So we're going to have pancakes later. Um, I'm trying to just keep busy to keep my mind off the dentist. So let's tidy this place up together. The builders did put protective flooring down that came in, but they were then walking around afterwards with their boots on. So I want to give the place a proper clean. We've also had, like, you, like I said, we've had the painters in today. So we've got lots of little bits of paint on the floor um, like that. So I want to clean all that up. Oh, well, the excitement part, that's the doors. I want to remove this door. Aid feels it's a fire thing, it should be there. I just want to open it up. I think it would look so much better without that door. We leave it open all the time. I just think it just makes it seem so much lighter. I think the Americans just have everything open, whereas in the UK, and I think Australia is the same from what I understand from your comments. In the UK, we like our doors. I know it's a fire safety thing, and it keeps the warmth in. If their fire started here in the night, it's going to take a lot longer to spread through the rest of the house. The alarms will go off, enabling us to get out the house safer and give us more time. I get that. I just think it would look nicer. So I would love to hear from you. Door on, door off. And I know who's gonna say what. I need to clear up, but doesn't that look so much better? Excuse my little door stop there, Ginger, from the washing machine. But now we have got, I haven't even opened this yet, washing machine in there. Oh, it's got little magnets. I just, oh, <laughs> I just realized that. And dishwasher in there. That looks so much nicer, doesn't it? It really does. And they've changed the plinth. It was definitely worth waiting for. And the builder said, oh, you still got a dripping tap? Yes, we have. We've still got our dripping tap. But I just think it would look so much nicer than having the door on. I don't think we need a door. I want to get this place cleared up down here because we have just got bits of like dry paint everywhere. I need to clean up the handles as well. Pushed or we've pushed the sofas back, not completely back because the um, windowsills are wet. But I was working in here this afternoon on my kits, so this is fine. But I do want to mop, and I have a delivery to unpack. So. I've been sat with this in the hallway for quite a few days now. There is a story to go with this. So, as you know, last year I bought a new Hoover ready for this house. I had a Dyson, which I never got on well with, and it was too big, it was really clumpy, took up loads of space. So I bought one on Amazon, like a ch cheap shark type thing. Um, really, really happy with it. However, I only had one room with carpet in in the old house. Had wooden stairs, wooden tiles all downstairs. Kids' rooms were all wood, floorboards. I'm really struggling with it in this house. Um, most of it's fine, but I'm not getting on with it with my hair. My hair is seriously clogging it, and anything from socks or sweatshirts is not coming up. Um, and I was cursing Abe the other day. Um, just the way that, not cursing Abe, but like moaning because my hair had all just got knotted up again. 
and I just, I have to go around with sellotape, I have to hoover upstairs, then go around with sellotape, sat down at my computer, and I had an email from this company. Let's get this out and have a look. Oh, right, this company here, um, it's an Amazon, a company selling on Amazon. I get a lot of people that reach out wanting to send me products, which is lovely, but um, nine and a half times out of 10, I decline them. One the other day was offering to send me this, these liquid things so you could drink as much as you want and you would drink it and you would feel fine the next day. I don't think I'm the right target audience for that. Um, but anyway, this guy Daniel sent me an email asking if I wanted to try out. And one of the biggest thing, one of the first things that I read was the anti-hair hair detangling. It's supposed to be amazing for hair and keeping it tangled and just getting hair off carpets. And I thought, oh my goodness. And I actually said to him, it's like you just heard my conversation literally seconds before I sat down. So um, I said, yes, please, I'd love to give it a go. As you know, I've got really long hair and it falls out in handfuls. I literally can rub the, I hoover upstairs and on the carpets about every three days. I can rub the carpet in between and it comes up. There's so much of it, it's really annoying. So this particular cleaner is called the Altenic U12 Vessela. And I will leave a link down below with a discount code for you as well. I was so excited to unpack this and give it a go. Right, so this is the bit that's supposed to be the anti-hair detangler. I thought this was the perfect time because the floors are so grubby to test it out. I only actually hoovered upstairs yesterday, so I might then maybe finish the video in a couple of days time and test it out. Oh my gosh, I did that off camera. It's like a little battery pack that clips on the outside. That bit there, that, just that bit. And then, it sounds louder than the other one. Right, let's give this a whirl, see what it's like. Why am I so excited about a new Hoover? So since using this vacuum cleaner, I have found out something very interesting about the green light. It's actually there for a reason. It's called Green Eye Technology. And basically it really helps um, the dust stand out. So all the microscopic dust that we can't always see, especially in areas like um, under tables, under sofas, things like that. You can push the vacuum cleaner towards it and it really helps it stand out. So that means that it can help save time on cleaning as well because you can focus on the areas that really need doing. It's very, very handy. I am very impressed with this vacuum cleaner so far. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs sticky the I could just feel it was so much different to my other one but I don't know if it's because of the hair because the hair is constantly clogged up in the other one so maybe that's affecting the suction it'd be interesting to see when I've done upstairs and that with my hair everywhere um, how it is anyway I'm gonna continue with the hallway so far so good I love the light on the front such a difference especially with these wooden floors you can really see the dust underneath and the light highlights that which i obviously didn't have with my regular dyson before Right, I'm going to admit to a bit of an obsession with clean floors. It's something that really, really matters to me. 
I thought Pokemon Rec came up with me. I'm going to be really nerdy, Hoover nerdy, and I'm going to test them out on this carpet. I did also wonder, I wonder, we had a different type of carpet in the old house. We had a wall blend that was like knotted over. Or, I don't know, just your standard carpet, because I didn't have problems with the bubbles. It's like bits like this. That's from Aid's sweatshirt. I didn't have problems with that in the old carpet, but really, really do in this house. Anyway, you can see from the decorating, I've got lots and lots of bits and pieces. I think they're all off the decorator's rugs that he laid out. So let's see if I can get this up. And I'm gonna start with the original one. It's on maximum. So all the little painty bits are up, but anything that is like off socks, you know, all the bobbly bits, um, they aren't anything that kind of like grips a little bit. I've got hair in there as well. This is just since yesterday. My hair is starting to build up already. All these probably can't really see on here, but lots and lots of just little bits that really bug me. So I'm excited. Let's see if this new one does a better job. So I'm going to admit that I do have an issue with clean floors. It's my thing. I love clean floors and I happily clean my floors daily just to try and keep them clean. I just feel happy when I know my floors are clean. Um, so do you have an area in your house that you've just got a real thing about keeping clean? I would love to know. And I also do admit that I go around with thick sellotape after I've vacuum cleaned if the floors haven't come completely clean just so I can pick up all the little sticky bits that get stuck to the carpet. Um, I just like to know they're all clean and tidy. I'm really impressed. I got that much dirt up since yesterday. Can you see that? Oh, I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, really noticed a difference on the stairs. There's still some socky bits upstairs in the bedroom, so I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't perfect. And I wonder if it is a different type of carpet. Maybe things cling onto this kind of surface um, much better. Not so good when you're trying to clean it off. But coming down the stairs, I've just cleaned this. And yesterday, for example, I cleaned it. Then I went down with sellotape afterwards, picking up all the bits of socks and my hair. And this has just taken it all up. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I think the big thing will be when I've actually been hoovering with it for a few days and we'll see the difference then. But so far, I am really sold. It's louder than the other one, but for me, that's not a problem. Oh, and I'll leave the link to the vacuum cleaner down below as well. I'm really impressed. I did like my other one, don't get me wrong. And it was absolutely fine in my other house. But for this house, this one is definitely more suited to us. Baked potatoes tonight. We haven't had baked potatoes for ages, have we? No, we haven't. Been really fancy them lately. I've got tuna and cheese rocket salad. And Aid's gone for... Beans. Baked beans. I always forget how good jacket potatoes are. What's your favourite topping on your jacket potato? Um, right, I've just ended up editing a video and AIDS made pancake batter. You know what we said the other day about our challenges? So, he's made pancake batter. I haven't been in the car, so I can't admit to doing my side of the bargain. Anyway, um, I'm going to tidy up a bit here. He's going to make pancakes. We're just having um, the typical kind of like English French crepe type thing with lemon and sugar. That's what we're fancying today. I think we're going to get in our cozies and watch something on TV. And what's, what's that? What was that noise? I don't know. I thought it was the doorbell. No, I was worried what it was. Um, and I'm going to put the kitchen back together. One good thing about this dishwasher, it now stays open. It was like an angry monster before. Excuse the dirty plates we've just put in and it would snap up. You had to physically hold it. It went so fast. Whereas now, it just, well, it's just so much nicer. I was quite scared of it, to be really honest. 
Now I'm no longer scared of the door. Right. Seeing as we've only had the front bits painted, that bit is all dry, I'm gonna put the windowsills back together. And by the way, thank you all for your lovely cleaning tips. While Aid's making pancakes, I am cleaning up the work surface from our leaky coffee machine. And I'm using the pink stuff. I've managed to get that line out. Thank you so much for all your hints and tips. Can't believe what I did. Oh, Aid's tossing the pancakes. Go on, Aid. Yeah, well, it doesn't done properly, does it? Oh. The first couple are always a bit um, iffy. Right, yeah, I can't believe how different that looks with all the... I think we've just been looking at it now for so many weeks. I kind of got used to it. Looks so, so much better. And as Aid was saying, we were talking about when we were having our potatoes earlier on, that it feels like now jobs are actually getting done. And I felt quite temporary about this place. Just, I guess, because we've got lots of jobs in the pipeline and that. We did notice though yesterday with it being, it was really sunny yesterday and we were checking the window sills and the paintwork um, for the painter. We've noticed the upstairs windows are all really badly scratched on the outside, haven't we? In Louis's room and our room. So we're gonna have to speak to them about replacing those. All right, Aid's making his pancakes. Ooh, well done. So you like being in the kitchen really, don't you? Oh, I do, yeah. <laughs> it suits you. You aid, you've made amazing pancakes. They look really, really good. Good morning, it's the dreaded dentist day. I am so nervous. Figured I better eat now because we're driving 70 miles and then chances are, I'm hoping it's just gonna be a filling in there. I'm hoping it's not gonna be as bad as I expect. I can deal with that. Had a fit, yeah? Sorry? Oh, lovely, thank you. Um, yeah, I can deal with that. But obviously I'm not gonna be able to eat straight away. And sometimes I get a bit travel sick anyway. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have a couple of crumpets. Not, can't face coffee this morning. Um, but I'm just gonna get some crumpets on. Let me know if you feel like this about the dentist as well. Still can't believe what a difference this makes in the kitchen. We just sat here loving it last night. I've taken some soup out of the freezer. I can't quite remember what that is. It might be. Ah, oh, it's a leek and potato soup. Because I remember Holly was saying that was her favourite. Made it at Christmas. That's the leftover. So we've got leek and potato soup for tea. I love freezer meals. I never used to do them. When the kids were younger, I always felt guilty like it was cheating. I can't believe that. Um, freezer meals are the way to go. How easy is that? Just taking that out of the freezer today and that's tonight sorted. Especially if I don't feel like it, sort of cooking or something later. And soup, you can't get more comforting than soup. And cleaned up all the floors last night and all the door handles as well. The paint came off really easy. Did, however, notice that the guardian man um, missed off the slats there where they're raised at the back. And one of you said, I bet they've raised because of the temperature of the house since they were laid, so they've lifted. So, and I didn't check before he left and I feel so bad, he was so nice. So I think we're gonna need to call him. Oh, and whilst I spread my crumpets, um, what's your favorite thing to have on toast or crumpets? Um, we are having Marmite, I like just a tiny spread. I forgot to say, we spoke to the guy that came out and did the kitchen cupboards actually about putting in the fridge. You know how much we're struggling with the new fridge freezer here. It's just not practical. I'm too short to use it properly. Um, it, we're really struggling with it and I feel like it's zapping my kitchen creativity. I know that sounds silly, but because I can't see what's in that, I can't see what's in the salad tray. Um, I don't know, I just don't feel inspired which I know that sounds really, really odd. Um, age of crumpets. And um, we spoke to him about fitting in the um, fridge freezer there, removing the fridge, removing the pantry cupboard, which I love, I do love that. But um, having the fridge freezer in there, having a thin cupboard down the side, cupboards fitted on the, on the top. Um, so I think that's not something immediately because what we want to do is get the pantry done first so that we can get that completely um, shelved out how we want it before we do that. So that would have to be done first. So it's not going to be something immediately. We've got more important things to do at the moment. Um, 
maybe in the next year or so, something like that. So I feel a bit happier that we've kind of made that decision. And we know we've got options and it is possible. So the idea being it would go here, thin cupboard that pulls out down the side. We've seen them in Disney, some of the cupboards, so you can put jars and things in them. And then a matching cupboard over the top as well. And that would live there. And then this fridge freezer would go in the garage and be the spare. I got blood on my hands right now. And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn. I have found new ways, but no, I can't be the one that you need. Right, we're at the dentist. Wish me luck. I'm just hoping they just do, it just needs a bit of a filling. That's what I'm hoping. Crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I'm really worried that they'll say, no, it has to come out. And then they're talking, I don't know, I don't want root canals, I don't want anything. That's the kind of thing that's making me nervous. Let's see what happens. Tooth update, got the big thumbs up. It was just a big chip. Um, she's sanded it down and she said it's absolutely fine at the moment. Did my checkup as well, so I've been able to cancel that, which was supposed to be next month. And she said for the next appointment in six months time, my next checkup would discuss a crown or something like that. So I feel a lot happier with that. Um, we've stopped off at the Solstice Services. Last time it was Taco Bell. We've just pulled outside Greg's thinking, should we get a baguette? But now... In front, we've just moved. We're now in front of the Toby Carvery. What are you thinking? Come on, let's go. We don't do Valentine's, but he just said it is Valentine's. It looks really <laughs> no, busy here though. <laughs> Midweek, half past 12. <laughs> right, let's go and see if we've got a table for two. Oh, we've got a Toby apple pie. Feels like a sticky pub, doesn't it? <laughs> right. What are we after? The roast. Oh, Middle. that's what we're looking for. Just a roast dinner. Shepherding. Ooh. Enjoying your meal. It's a bit shit. <laughs> Is that your honest review? <laughs> How disappointing was that? Oh, that was awful. We we just figured, right, we thought to start with Taco Bell. What was that? Sort of seven, eight quid each last time. Yeah. Then we thought, well, Greg's. And you think, well, you're still sort of spending like four pounds each. So we thought, well, it's not much more just to go for a roast dinner and then we're done. I know we defrosted soup earlier on, but we thought... We'll have that tomorrow. And that was the most underwhelming roast dinner we've ever had. We're literally in and out of there, aren't we? I think every, yeah. everything had run out. There's no beef left. Pork was nice, though. I have to say, probably the nicest thing was the meat, the but pork. They're telling everyone now that's going in, there's only turkey left. But it's like there was three Yorkshires left. I didn't have one anyway, but it was a bit cold, wasn't but, it? Yeah, and hard. It's, but, I mean, we've, we've had it before where, this is by your sister, wasn't it? And it was actually okay. Mm, really quite um, nice. Really nice, Swindon. hot. The veg was lovely. We used to go there quite regularly. It was almost the same, of us the same way as if it was not, say, a home-cooked meal. Yeah. But it was cheap, cheerful, easy, quick. Especially when there's lots of you eating. Oh, hang this... on a minute, you've got delivery. Okay. Sorry. My is <clears throat> being left by the front door. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, just everything was, it was like to the end that was running out. So the, all the veg was just bland, it was cold, it was just, it looked like it had been sat there days, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I feel full, but I think it's more because I was trying to eat quickly so it didn't get too cold. But anyway, I don't think we'll be rushing back. I think that's our last ever. We haven't Toby been to Carvery. Toby for such a long time, but I think I'd prefer to spend the same amount of money. What was it? £10.49. Mm. And I would think I would prefer to do a Taco Bell. I would rather or, Taco And it's I, just or, behind us. Or I think I'd prefer to buy a baguette for, say, four or five pounds yeah. from Greg's or however much they are. I think I would enjoy that more. Yeah. Um, each to their own. Some people might have loved it. But it might have been great earlier on. Well, it wasn't bad, but when we took Louis to his Winchester one um, last time by uni, and that was lukewarm, that wasn't, but it was better than this was. But We could have gone there next time. Bye bye, Taco Bell. Oh, good on there. What's that one? McDonald's now. I do like KFC there.
Right, we're home now. Um, had some deliveries while we were out, came home, some lovely parcels. Um, thank you all for your suggestions. For everything regarding the house, everyone is so helpful. Um, Elise sent me a message about um, a base for my KitchenAid. So I ordered one, it's got little feet. Look, it's wooden. The idea is the machine sits on that, so I should be able to pull it out without scratching the top. So let's do this. Also had my replacement tray from Don Elms through. I returned that damaged one. So they sent that through, so that's just arrived. So I'm gonna put the, the coffee station on that. I was just looking at my receipt from, um, where, where have we just been, Toby. £4.15 for a drink. They are refillable. We didn't get our glasses bought until just before we finished our dinner. Um, so yeah, that was a very, very expensive Pepsi. This is, oh look, it slides. So let's move this out the way and I'm gonna pop the KitchenAid on here. That moves so much better. There. That's better, isn't it? Now I don't have to worry about scratching the surface. And I found that on Amazon. I think it was something like 14 pounds. Um, I'll leave the link down below anyway, just in case anyone else wants them. Be aware because there are different sizes. You could get them much cheaper for the smaller machines. I think, I think it's the 3.5 litre. Mine's the five litre though, so I had to get a large one. Need to get sorted now. We've got a bit of a rubbish pile. I was just going through because I had all the Hoover stuff down there still from last night. I didn't realize because it had some protective covering there, but it actually tells you how much longer is left on there with the battery. That is so, so good. I need to have a look and see what these are as well. Oh, is that a light? Oh, that, turn oh, that turns the light off. That turns it on. Oh, there's a boost. Oh, and there's the battery flashing as well. I liked my other Hoover, the new one. I loved that so much more than the Dyson I got rid of. However, this feels like a whole new level of cordless vacuum cleaner. I love this. Yeah, this is like a massive upgrade. I'm so, so pleased. I can't remember if I said yesterday, but um, I'll leave the link to this down below. I am seriously impressed with this. Really like it. And I went up to bed last night just seeing all the stripes of the carpet on the floor and it looked nice and clean and I didn't have to get the sellotape out to clean up um, all the other bits and pieces, my hair and the sock bits and all that kind of thing. I'm really happy with this. So I've been slowly getting around the house, sorry this is the following day, slowly been getting around the house and cleaning everything up after we've had um, the paint and decorator coming in. I just wanted to say that it hasn't been done how we'd hoped it would be. I'll show you a few examples. He says he can't do the banister, we need a carpenter out for that. Um, he is literally painting and decorating. Um, the handles have all been cleaned off now from the paint. I still noticed a few bits on the floor actually when I was vacuuming. So um, I want to check up on that. Um, I need to just, it is just a case of sort of like brushing it off. Um, today though, I am going to try and clean off the paint on the glasswork. So this has been on here since we moved in and I really want to sort that out. Um, I'm just gonna try it with nail polish remover and a cotton bud. I'm gonna see, that should do the trick, shouldn't it? But, um, I know it's only something small, but I just um, notice it, so I wanna try and clean it off. So, as you can see on the glass by the front door, we've got paint all running along there. This is a good example of our shabby finished skirting boards. They're all really like that, really rough, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world, is it? Um, we just figured if he was here to rub every single skirting board down and repaint them and it made enough mess just doing other bits and pieces in here and we just figured it's just going to end up giving us more stress I think having them rubbed down and repainted. Um, just the, especially where you've got carpet involved and then having the gloss 
I just thought everything's going to get stuck to them. Would you have done the same or would you have had them redone? Oh, that's coming off nicely, actually. It's just the finishing little touches, isn't it? And I'm just going to do this side as well. This side's a bit worse, actually. I think I need a cloth on this one. Cotton bud is just smudging it around. Just noticed it all on the woodwork as well. Let's do that there. Yeah, that's worked quite well. We have though got paint on the front door. Again, that's been there since we've moved in. It doesn't wipe off. Anyone have any ideas? I'm reluctant to put nail polish remover on that in case it pulls off anything underneath. Um, but let us know, got some up there as well, if you know what would take that Once off. as well, when you've got something like that, your eyes fixate on it and you notice it all the time. Um, right, I think I have finished this video. Oh, um, I will though, sorry, you're on the wonk there. Before I um, share this video, I will just double check on the detangling on the vacuum cleaner as well because it would have been used quite a few times by then. So um, I'll insert that clip th here from obviously future filming. Right, I want to check a few days later to see how this vacuum cleaner is. There's absolutely nothing tangled in there. My old one was literally full with hair, even after just a few days, we'd have to get the scissors to it to get it out. And as you can see from there, we have actually used it a lot. It's quite full in there, it needs emptying actually. Um, so yeah, the hair detangler definitely works. I'm really impressed with that. Um, but I will thank you now for hanging out with us this week. It's ended up being a week long vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, lots going on. And by the way, the cost for my crown, if I want to go down the NHS route, which I'm guessing will be just silver, will be, I think it was just under 350. If I want the, I could have ceramic, which is slightly cheaper, a white one, but she says that chip. So if I want the full blown metal one or like the, I can't, it wasn't metal. It was something else that lasts a long time. It's going to be near on 700 pounds. So if any of you have any experience, I, apart from a filling on the tooth that's broken, I've never needed anything doing. Um, so I would love your advice, please. I am terrified of the dentist chair. I hate it. And I really didn't want the cost either, but I know your teeth need looking after. So if you have any advice, um, I would really, really appreciate it. You guys are always so helpful. Anyway, have an amazing week. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we will see you on Friday with a new vlog. Lots of love. Bye.